series on English language. Now, in this series, we are going to look at how to express certain things in the negative, negatives. How to express something in the negative in English language. How to express something in the opposite direction, the opposite way. How to say some things in the negative. In negative or in negativity or in negation in English language. So we look at negatives. Important rules. We are going to look, we are looking at negatives. Important rules. We are going to look at just two rules or two, two, three rules that we are going to look at here. Now number one rule. How to make negative sentences or make negative comments or make negative statements in English language. Number one rule, put not after the verb. That is the first rule. The first rule is put not after the verb. And then the verb you are going to take note of, there are 21 verbs. There are 21 verbs that you are going to take note of when you use this not to make negative statements or negative sentences in English. You are going to take note of 21 verbs where you have to put not, 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 not. Just after the verb in order to make that sentence or that statement negative. So we say put not after the verb. And this is used with only 21 verbs. Am, is, are, was, where, have, has, had, Shall, should, will, would, can, could, may, might, must, need, there, or used. So you, the moment you put any of these verbs, after them, after that, you put not to make that statement negative or that sentence negative. Look at example. Lament is not. Look at the verb is. And after that, you put not to make that sentence negative. Lament is not sick. That means the sentence there is negative. Number two, he must not. Look at must. Look at where we put. After the verb must, we put not to make this sentence negative. He must not do that. Look at the next one. The student cannot. The student cannot read well. Okay? The student cannot read well because here you see how we put that. The student cannot read well. My mother ought not to go. My mother ought not to go. Ought not. Here we say cannot. You have to understand what we are doing here. You have cannot. Let me put it in a better light so that you will understand what we are saying. Cannot. So you have the word can and then we have not there. So here, so that you will not be confused, we have can and then cannot because we normally write cannot together. So we will not separate can and not, we put them together. So we have can not. So you understand what is done there. Okay? So the student cannot read well. The mother ought not. This is the verb. This is the verb, the verb, the verb. After the verb, you put that. Ought not to go. So that's how the first rule we can make negative sentence or negative statement in English by putting not after the verb. And this is used in 21 verbs. The 21 verbs are there. The moment you use them, I used not to do this. I don't, I do not. I do not do this. Okay? You see that. That means that. Okay? So, number two rule. Rule number two. Use do, does, did, with not, and the present infinitive without you. This is used with all verbs except the 21 given here. Except this given. Let's take it again. Use do, does, did, with not, and the present infinitive without to. So, this is used with all verbs, with all verbs.
verse, except the 21 verse we have put here. So, and the other is the subject, and then you put do or does or did, put not, and then the infinitive. That is how it goes. So, look at example. I do, that is the subject, that is do, then you have not. I do not come here very often. That is a negative statement. That is a negative sentence. I do not. That is how you can make it. Don't say, I not do. No. You don't have to put the verb. You don't have to put the not after do. No. You don't have to do that. So, you, you say, I do not. You say do before you have the not. The subject, the verb, the do, and then you have the order. You put not. I do not come here very often. Jude does not. You see that this is the subject, this is does, and then you put not. Jude does not understand French. Don't say Jude not do. Jude not does. No. Say Jude does not. You have to put does before you put not. Does not understand French. Look at this. We, this is the subject, did, that's the verb, not, that is the do, did. We did not see the gap. We did not see the gap. You see that? Now, however, let me, let's add this. Let's add this so that we can get that. However, or moreover, let me say moreover, negation may also be expressed by other words of negative meanings. Of negative meaning. For example, no. You can use no. You can use nobody. Never, no one, none, nothing, nowhere. These are words of negative meaning. The moment you say no, it's word of negative meaning. Okay? There is no one here. Okay? No one. No one. That is negative meaning. Okay? This is a no-go area. No-go. Negative meaning. Nobody said negative. Never. I can never do that. It is none of my business. It is nothing to write home about. It is nowhere to be found. These are words of negative meaning. So, if you use them, you use them directly. You see, they know nothing about that. This is nothing. That means this sentence is negative because I said they know nothing. Not that they know something. They know nothing. That is, they don't know anything about that. We do not know anything about that. That is what it means. They know nothing. That is, they do not know. I'm supposed to put they there. They do not know anything about that. So that's what it's supposed to be. They do not know anything about that. That means they know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about it. They know nothing about it. That is, they do not know anything about it. So when you say they know nothing about it, it means they do not know anything about it. Because this is the word of negativity. This is the word of negative, this word of negative, word of negative. So you can use words of negative meaning to, to say some things in the negative in English language. So rule number one we say put not after the verb. And this is used with the 21 verbs. For example, Lamin is not sick, he must not do that, the student cannot read well, my mother ought not to go. Or rule number two, use do, does, or did with not, and then present infinity, present infinity, present infinity. This is used with all verbs except the 21 mentioned. You put the subject, you put do, and put not. And for example, I do not come here very often, or Jude does not understand French. Or we did not see the gap. Moreover, negation may also be expressed by other words of negative meaning. For example, no, nobody, never, no one, none, nothing, nowhere. These are words of uh, negative meaning. So when you say they know nothing about it, that means they do not know anything about it. So you can make negative sentences or negative statements in English by these rules that you have learned here. If you like our video, please share, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up.